Hey guys, what's up? It's Chris Chavez with Fanjoy.com. Uh, today we have a pretty exciting little video, or, well, exciting for me anyway, because I'm pretty big on Android keyboards. And if you've been keeping up with the news, you no doubt know that uh, yesterday Android, or Google announced some features that are going to be uh, showcased in the all-new Android 4.2 Jelly Bean. Uh, one of those was Gesture Keyboard. Now, it's a keyboard that allows you to do swipe-like gestures with just one thumb or finger. Uh, just like Swipe, and actually SwiftKey is going to introduce something called SwiftKey key Flow in um, the coming days, I guess. But uh, it just, you don't have to type with two fingers anymore, and it's really good for one-handed use if you're driving or you're at a stoplight or you're doing something with your other hand. So I love it, and I think it's really cool that Android is actually going to be implementing something similar to the stock Android keyboard. Uh, and uh, the, the leaked build for the Nexus 4 was actually uh, leaked onto the internets and whatnot. And the guys at Android Police were able to get their hands on a uh, leaked version of this keyboard, which is a stock Android keyboard for 4.2. But it is a really early build, so I'm going to show you guys just how to kind of install it and make sure uh, you get everything up and running. So this is a stock Galaxy S3. There's no root at all. Uh, if you're running, it's, I guess it depends on your device, but some devices won't allow you to install this application, only because it can't uh, install over an already stock keyboard. So, because this is a Galaxy S3, Samsung has ripped out the stock Android keyboard and they replaced it with their own weird little Samsung keyboard that has weird swipe things that are absolutely horrible. But, let's just jump in our settings really quick and I'm going to show you where it is on the Galaxy S3. Uh, you're going to go into security and lock screen and you just want to make sure your unknown sources is checked. Not unchecked, but checked. This will allow you to install applications that you pull from the internet, which is pretty handy. Uh, in some cases, but not in all cases, you guys shouldn't be just installing things from the internet all, all willy-nilly. Uh, from there, uh, you just download from the link. It's going to be included down below, and you can um, pull or download the, the application, and it'll download to your phone. Uh, just jump into my downloads really quick, and you'll see I have it right here. It's called Latin IME Google Signed APAC. So uh, everything's good. I'm going to go ahead and click it. Replace application. I already have it installed on my phone, but that's what you're going to do. You won't see that. It'll just ask you, you want to install this, and you just click OK. I'm going to go ahead and just replace it. But stock Android keyboard, but this is from 4.2. Uh, again, this is from an early, early leaked build. So this isn't exactly what you're going to get when you get the Galaxy Nexus or what was actually shown off in some of the videos for uh, the – did I say Galaxy Nexus? The Nexus 4. Um, this is actually a little bit different, so you'll see, and I'll show you in a little bit how it's a little bit different, but it's pretty much, it's all fully functional, and it works pretty well for uh, just being so early. Go ahead and install. Application installed, so that's good. And then from there, you're going to jump into your settings, and you're going to go to, this is pretty much standard on every device, language and input, and you want to make sure this is checked. Android keyboard, and of course they always say, uh, Google, or the Android likes to warn you that this could steal your credit card numbers and all kinds of malicious stuff, but uh, this is pretty uh, pretty clean. So once it's checked there, we're just going to go into, I guess we can just go ahead and compose something. So let me jump on my plume, and uh, click it here. This is actually a touch pal. This is a different keyboard. Uh, you pull down your little notification thing, select input method, and then you're going to go to English Android Keyboard US. Now, it looks pretty stock, right? Just like this normal keyboard from ICS or Jellybean that we're all used to, but uh, now you can swipe. So, now, and you can see it starts forming the word uh, right over my finger, which is kind of neat. It's weird because the font is a lot different than they showed in the Android videos or the Galaxy, or ah, the Nexus 4 video. Um, now you can swipe. It actually looks like a uh, sweeper, no, swore, swiper, swipes. Oh, now I'm messing it all up. But um, it, the font looks weird. It looks like the Skype font, which is very strange. But again, this is not the, the final build for the keyboard. So hopefully we get another leaked build and we can uh, rip a more recent one. But overall, I'd say it's pretty good. Let me go ahead and try to type something out really fast. Uh, overall, I'd... Uh, they don't have the option for I, do they? Ah, oh, crap. Okay, so it's not swipe, but it's not horrible either. Overall, I'd say the keyboard... Oh my gosh. Works 
pretty well. Um, and after the only problem or the only issue I have with it is the fact that uh, it's oh gosh, it's annoying. But when you you go back to fix a word, it's not like swipe where it'll bring up your options and you can select the right option. So normally with swipe, you would just swipe really quickly. Uh, normally you would just swipe quickly and then go back and fix your mistakes. So it did pretty good there, I'd say, but uh, you can't go back. So you have to see if it typed out the word correctly, and then it's only it has to stay on that that word. So then you can go back and kind of uh, mess with some stuff, mistrols or do whatever. So uh, it's not totally functional. It's okay. Uh, I'm probably not going to be using it. My friend just told me on Twitter about TouchPal, which I will be doing using this bad boy right now. Uh, TouchPal is a keyboard we've covered in the past on Fandroid, and it was pretty cool before as far as swiping goes. And it can be found in the, the Google Play Store, and it's totally free, and it's actually really cool. So, um, it's actually really cool. The autocorrect... Well, that didn't work at all. Is pretty accurate. Yeah, so, I don't know. That's TouchPal. That's kind of how I would like it to go. And then you can go back, and then you can see it pulls up a list of um, options if you misspelled or it miss, you know, predicted something. So, uh, stock Android keyboard's kind of slacking in that regard. Uh, that's just a really quick look at it. Uh, I guess you can't give it a good review or anything, but um, for now, it's kind of a, a stinker. But yeah, so again, that's just a quick look at the Android 4.2 uh, keyboard, Jelly Bean, the new one that's going to be coming out on the Nexus 4. I'm Chris Chavez with Android.com. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.